What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and another episode of Weekend Watch where I break down the top five movies at the weekend box office and I also let you know what is coming to streaming services. So before I get into the numbers for the holiday weekend, really quickly I want to touch on the overall performance from studios of the past year of 2023. Now there's always a number one grossing studio and this year may come as a surprise. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, but the number one grossing studio in 2023 was Universal with almost $2 billion. Now this is because Universal had Oppenheimer, Super Mario Brothers, Fast X, and also Five Nights at Freddy's. So all of those movies plus other high earners from the past year really catapulted Universal to the top. So Universal's the number one grossing studio this year, and that is an amazing achievement because this has not occurred since 2015. So congratulations to Universal. Now in second place, it is Disney. Disney is not far behind because I believe if I'm remembering my numbers correctly, Disney brought in 1.8 billion. This may seem kind of surprising considering that the movies that Disney put out in the past year really weren't significant box office earners. I think they just cranked out a whole lot of movies and that's the reason why it's so high at $1.8 billion. And in third place is Warner Brothers with $1.4 billion. So this is good news for the box office because th these numbers have not existed for a while because before the pandemic occurred in 2019, the box office earned an amazing $11 billion. Then the pandemic hit, everything shut down. When everything reopened in 2021, 2022, those numbers were significantly low. I think they were around four or $5 billion. Really, really pathetic numbers. But this year of 2023, the box office is back to $9 billion. Now granted, this was greatly assisted by movies like Barbie, Oppenheimer, and also Super Mario Brothers. Now going into the year of 2024, I'm not really sure what movies are targeted right now to make a billion dollars or more. So we're going to have to monitor this as we always do. And this is why I like to report on the box office because it can be a lot of fun. What can I say? I'm a nerd like that. So that's the overall year end wrap up of all the studios from the past year. So again, congratulations to Universal. They are the number one grossing studio of the past year. So now let's get into the top five at this past weekend's box office for New Year's. Now keep in mind, these numbers are still a guesstimate right now because we do have tomorrow being actual New Year's Day. So these numbers could potentially fluctuate, but it is clear that Warner Brothers is dominating because they have three movies in the top five. Starting off with Wonka. Wonka is back on top, bringing in right now $31.8 million. Now Wonka is an absolute phenomenon because right now worldwide, Wonka is sitting at about $380 million. Obviously this film is going to make more money. It's going to go over 400 million. Can it reach 500 million? It could, it potentially could. I see the promise of this movie. I think it could go the distance and make 500 million. So again, we're gonna monitor this week after week going into the brand new year, but that is amazing for Wonka. In second and third place, second place goes to Aquaman 2 with 26.3 million. And so far worldwide, Aquaman 2 is ranging between 250 and 260 million dollars. Third place, I'm kind of shocked with this one. It's Migration. Migration stepped into third place, bringing in a very healthy 22.3 million. In fourth and fifth place, fourth place goes to The Color Purple with 17.7 million. Now, The Color Purple managed to do something significant, and I do want to mention this because it is important. Now, if you guys remember, The Color Purple opened on Christmas Day, and when it opened on Christmas Day, it brought in 
the second largest amount on Christmas Day ever in history. I believe if I'm remembering correctly, because I have a whole bunch of numbers here, I believe Color Purple brought in $18 million in one day. That is a phenomenal number. So far for the week, the Color Purple is estimated to bring in $50 million. So that is a very nice number, very significant and pretty decent considering it is a musical. And rounding out the top five is Anyone But You with 11.5 million. A lot of numbers, a lot of numbers going on in today's episode. All right, so now let's get into the box office. What is coming brand new into the brand new year? I just said brand two times, that's okay. What is coming brand new into the year of 2024? We got there. All right. We can expect two brand new movies. The first one is called Self-Reliance. Now, this film is debuting on Wednesday, January 3rd. But keep in mind, it's only for one night. So if you're interested in seeing this movie, definitely try to catch it on that Wednesday. But if you cannot go to the local theater and check this out, no worries, because it's scheduled to hit streaming on January 12th. I'm not really sure why they decided to do, to do a one night only release in theaters, but we'll see how it does. And then this coming Friday, January 5th, we have the first official brand new movie of the year. It is a horror film from Blumhouse and James Wan called Night Swim. What is new at the box? I just said that. <laughs> I'm all, see, I just, I was perfect in the first half and now I'm crumbling. So what is new on streaming? I'm too far in. I'm not starting over. So what is new on streaming? There's a couple of notable items here and there, but nothing really significant. But if you're interested, let's go over this. So, because there's always options on streaming for you. So over on Netflix, we have The Equalizer 3, amazing film. I highly recommend it. There's also Society of the Snow and Good Grief. Over on Hulu, we have All Fun and Games, also Rare Objects. Amazon Prime is adding Faux and also Transformers Rise of the Beast to their streaming service. And finally, over on Peacock, Night Court Season 2 is beginning. So if, if you're a fan of that show, the revamped show Night Court, then you're all set. So that is everything that is happening at the box office, also on streaming, the year, the end of the year end camp the end of the year end cap. There we go. I just need to stop right now. That is everything happening at the box office and also on streaming. So comment down below and let me know your thoughts about everything that I mentioned in this video. What was your favorite movie from the past year of 2023? Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time.